everyone, I'm Jennifer from Gen W Arts, and in today's video I'm going to play around with resin some more. I'm going to attempt to make a sun catcher this time, so, so yeah, let's get to it! I am going to make today's project with the May box of the Sophie and Toffee Elven box. The theme for that month was stained glass. It included a couple of template designs you can use to make decorations onto your projects. And here we have 200 grams of epoxy resin, a mold for a lamp or candle holder, a bunch of different colored UV LED resin, two bottles of black and gold 3D UV resin, a large round coaster mold, a lamp, and finally a large golden chain. The way to use the templates is to put them underneath your mold once you poured and cured your first transparent resin layer and trace the design onto your resin with the 3D UV resin. But I thought it was fun and more challenging to create my own template. For this I used an illustration I made of my own cat city that I had in my sketchbook to draw out my design. I start by measuring out my epoxy resin for the base transparent layer. Always make sure to get equal amounts of part A and part B, otherwise your resin might not cure well or at all. Using a silicone stick to steer helps preventing getting too much bubbles in your resin. I steer slowly for about 2 minutes before I start pouring the resin into the mold. Also, it's better to wear gloves and to work in a well-ventilated area when working with resin. And keep it away from pets and little children at all times. <laughs> I do confess I forget about the gloves myself at times when I'm totally absorbed into my project. Whoopsie! I slowly pour the resin in the round coaster mold and try to scrape every bit out of the cup. Then I use my silicon stick to scrape larger bubbles from the edges, so they get loose and are easier to pop with a heat gun. Do keep in mind that when you work in a cold environment, the resin takes longer to cure and you'll probably end up with a lot more bubbles. I then let the first layer cure overnight, then I put my design underneath the mold. I had to shift it around a bit as I made my design a wee bit too large, but it wasn't too bad luckily. Then I took the black 3D UV resin and started to trace the lines of the design underneath. The bottle has a pretty fine nozzle, but it was kinda hard to get even lines or super fine lines out of it, so I used a silicon shaper to alter the lines by dragging them out into finer details to scrape excess resin away and to smoothen out lines. Making the resin fake lead line art was quite a time consuming task because of this. Also with every two or three lines I quickly had to cure it underneath the UV light as I was afraid to accidentally touch it when creating new lines over time, but also because the thicker 3D resin would sag and become wider and flatter and lose its lead appearance, so creating the line surely kept me busy the longest. Especially since the cat had so many details. <laughs> and here I thought I simplified the original illustration enough for this job. But nonetheless, it was worth the effort because I really liked how the design turned out on the resin, after all. After the cat was fully lined, I continued with the decoration design in the background. I went with something simple that wouldn't distract too much from the cat, but still would have this stained glass vibe. After the whole thing got its lines, I cured the whole piece for about 2 minutes under a large UV light on both sides to make sure the 3D UV resin was fully cured. And then I took out all these fun colored UV resin tubes and decided to use them all except for the red. Later I took out a gold UV resin from a previous box to add to my palette. Of course you can mix each of these colors to get new colors or use clear UV resin and pigments to make your own colors. The possibilities are endless. 
The colors are quite transparent, so on a large area I had to do a second layer to get more vibrancy in my colored resin. The slightly raised lines from the UV 3D resin really helped keeping the colored resin within each plane without leaking in onto each other. At this point I used the gold UV resin from another box. I originally intended to use it on the arc around the cat, but the gold mica in the tube had sank to the bottom, so I, it took quite a while to get it out. So I used some gold mica and mixed that in some clear resin to get a custom color. Then I used white acrylic paint to draw stars with a silicon shaper on the cat's markings. I'm going to add more transparent layers of resin so I don't have to worry about the paint flaking off at some point. And now that the stained glass design is done and fully cured under a UV light on both sides, I make another measurement of the epoxy resin and slowly pour it into the mold again. Then I let it cure overnight. After it is cured, I demold my project and off screen send it away any sharp edges. Then I make another batch of epoxy resin to dome each side separately. So you get a nice round and even finish on each side. Each side needs a day to cure. At first I was planning to make a dream catcher and add feathers at the bottom of my resin piece, but later I thought it would be cool to put reflective decorations underneath it, so it became a sun catcher instead. I used various crystals and geode molds I bought in the Sophie and Toffee web shop at some point, because, well, <laughs> crystals! <laughs> I filled the mold with the purple and blue UV resin and some clear UV resin and cured them underneath a UV light. And here we have the finished piece all cured and all the crystals so it is time to assemble the whole thing. I did not want to drill holes in my piece so I made some clear bits with UV resin to put my jump rings and chains through later. I mounted those bits with clear UV resin onto my piece. Two on top for the chain and three underneath for the crystals. Sadly, I couldn't record the assembling of the pieces as it was too fiddly and I kept going off camera a lot. <laughs> but yeah, here it is, the finished piece. And there he is, the big inspiration and star for this art project, and my little studio assistant, Sid. And we are at the end of the video. I hope it was enjoyable to watch. Please leave me a like if you enjoyed it, and feel free to leave a comment. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos in the future. And a massive thank you for your support. Thank you for watching, and have a good one!